Hey everybody, we're Skywalker and we're very happy to be here. We've been in quarantine ever since we got our tour canceled. We've been uh, drowning in disinfection. So we're super happy to do this with you online. And uh, we hope you guys enjoy this set with us. We want to dedicate this to everybody locked down in your living rooms and bedrooms, watching us on your little screens. We need to stay strong. We need to stay strong. There's a little surprise at the end of the video, so check out the whole thing. This is called Drug. Let's go. for joining us we love you this is a love song for everybody if you want to do something weird join me with your hands in front of your screens let's clap him this is sugar My 
song is a new song this is dedicated to everyone who wanted to come to see us live in march with these nuts and first blood and unity didn't happen this is for you this is a way Yeah. This next one is a straight up metalcore song. So uh, I'm hoping uh, there's a bunch of uh, bedroom mosh pits going on right now. Why not just let that be your business? Probably why was not. It necessary for That's you fine. to come out, tell the public, why was it necessary for the character to do so? Because it's okay. This song is about hypocrisy and two faced people. A lot of them in my life.
time So I do hope everyone is having fun sitting in front of your computers. This next song is about a lot of things, but it's dedicated to the LGBTQ community all over the place. We are forever with you. This is called Justify Me. Sing along. This feels wrong And then no one's ever told me Why people care who holds me
We don't have a lot of music to play, but as I said before, there's a little surprise at the end, so please watch until the very end. I know this is a difficult time for everybody mentally, psychologically, I know we're all kind of struggling, and um, I know this doesn't fucking help. The quarantine, nobody knows what's going on. It feels really weird. And uh, I want you guys to know that we're with you. This music was with you, just like you're with us. Thank you so much for helping us out in our time of need. It has not been easy, but you've been there for us. And we are right here for you. We love you. These two songs go out to you guys. You're not struggling alone. And we'll see you at a show when this shit is over. So thanks so much for watching. We got two more songs. And uh, the second to last is called Caffeine. Hum along. Yeah. Thank you so much for sticking around until almost the very end. We got one last song for you guys. We hope to see you soon. We've been Skywalker, and this is what we love to do. So please stay with us. We'll be with you. This is called Ignis. One, two.
Misery, please fade away. So I can see my demons, they never stay. And every time I reach out, they turn away. So we keep on playing this little game. Our far now will escape. Cause I can see the rise of the one to be. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching us do this online. We've been Skywalker. We hope to be with you guys as soon as possible. And now, until then, stay safe. Hey, so this is the surprise, uh, a little Q&A uh, session. You guys sent us some questions on Instagram and Facebook, so we're going to go through a bunch of them. I want to start with Instagram because uh, there's just a couple that I really liked. The first was um, um, influences from other genres. So that probably means not metal and not punk. So something else. Uh, so what's, what's some other stuff? I would say hip hop, rap. Rap music, probably. Yeah. yeah. I, I think uh, I definitely grew up on rap. Probably, it was probably as important as punk rock for me when I was a kid. You didn't really like it that much? No, I was, I was a punker. <laughs> and I think I think Tom didn't like it when I first met him. But uh, now he listens probably to way more rap than I do. Yeah. What's some of their stuff? Uh, 90s disco. 90s disco. Italo disco. Oh yeah, Italian yeah. dance music. Yeah. David really enjoys Gigi D'Agostino. I mean, we all do. Yeah. But he does more because he's, uh, he's not very metal, so yeah. <laughs> All right, um, that that's pretty that's pretty nice. Um, that was something else. Oh, what about a song from you guys reflecting the current situation? I don't know. I was actually thinking about writing um, some music that re reflects this like weird feeling of being in quarantine and whatever. And then I realized that it's the whole world, so there is absolutely nothing like nothing unique about it. So like if I write a record about how 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 much it sucks and how it's weird and how we don't know what's going on then everybody goes yeah i know i've been there so sorry i don't think that's likely to happen sorry about that um oh there was one more though uh what's the story behind karate tiger and grim fandango for those who don't know these the are EP or, or yeah, the, the EP. songs well, it's the same thing yeah but like uh, lyrics or or just I have no idea. I, know. I have no idea. Anyways, uh, Broken Heart. That's all it is. Uh, these are like the most pop punk songs we ever wrote, I think. And so yeah. obviously they're about like uh, dysfunctional relationships and broken heart and and shit like that. So so yeah, that's uh, that's Instagram. A bunch of people were saying that uh, they're very happy about how we're handling the situation. So we're thankful and we love you guys. But these are not questions. So yeah. All right, let's switch to Facebook. Right, so what do we'll we start with the, with the first one. It's like four questions in, in. in so, one. Okay. In one. So, uh, what about releasing an acoustic EP? No. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fast one. What are your musical uh, guilty pleasures? Okay, uh, we spoke about it before. Uh, with me, it's easy. Uh, for me, it's like power power metal. I really enjoy bands like Blind Guardian, Rhapsody of Fire, uh, Power Wolf, anything that's got uh, any band that has songs about like hobbits, dragons, uh, you know, leveling in a good RPG, fantasy RPG. That's kind of what I really enjoy. But it's not a guilty pleasure because I do not feel guilty about it at all. So I think in our genre, uh, Gigi D'Agostino would be. Uh, considered uh, guilty pleasure because like it's not like again not guilty yeah. definitely not guilty about that no. <laughs> so uh yeah musically probably nothing how do you spend your free time and if it's not personal what do you do for a living Job. i teach english and in my free time i go to work uh, 
Yeah. Right. And in my in my in my not free time, I make music. And when I'm really busy, I play games. I don't really have free time because I do music all the time. I produce bands and record them. Yeah. David's uh, office red. And Tom does merchandise. So, not a lot of free time. Yeah. Or maybe loads of free time. I don't know. Uh, now, now we've got a lot of free time. So I've been playing a lot of Skyrim. A lot of it. A lot of it. New Orleans release date. <laughs> You're gonna find out later. Yeah. Uh, we. Yeah. There, there, there's no date we can give you right now. But uh, probably sooner than very late. <laughs> What are your favorite albums and why? Anima of the State by Bling 182. Yeah. Why? It's the best record ever made by uh, humans. Yeah. And then <laughs> Deftones White Honey. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Take Off Your Pants and Jacket by Bling 182. Yeah. And the uh, and, and the the, self uh, the self titled record by Bling 182. Yeah. That's, that's a pretty good record. And there's a bunch of Deftones records that I really like. Yeah. Uh, but and the best one Chocolate ever. Chocolate Starfish. Yeah. yeah, there's a bunch of good records, but the best ever is definitely Animal of the States. Or it's a popular fans, which Whatever, who you choose. We have... What are your favorite bands to tour with? Um, these Nuts, First Blood and Unity TX. <laughs> we uh, did one date with them in a Nightliner and that's pretty fucking unique. Yeah. Oh, too bad we didn't get to uh, know them better, that sucks. Even though we've known First Blood for a while now, yeah. but um, I think uh, we've had a lot of fun with Invisions from the UK. Absolutely. They're probably the most fun guys to tour with. Yeah, because we did more than one tour with them, so it's always great to like, see them. Always great, the yeah. first time and the second time. Right. Always great. And I would say Polar are awesome. Oh, Polar are very great. fun guys. They're such cool bands. Yeah, yeah. that's true. And a lot of others, but these are like really fun. We have two more things. Top five favorite bands. I think we pretty much covered that. Top five bands is Bling 182. Five times. Deftones. Deftones, Limbiscuit, The Offspring. For me, it's definitely No Effects and right. Rage Against the Machine, and probably Corn. So this may be like 10 bands. Yeah. I think you can definitely have like 50 bands if you in your top five. If you ask David, that would be Gigi D'Agostino, Story of the Year. Um, and probably... Scooter and, <laughs> and some old pop, Czech pop music. Yeah. Uh, and with Tom, it would probably be Blink and Deftones and I would say maybe Iron Maiden. Yeah, I guess. And these days, also maybe, um, oh, Tame Impala for sure. <laughs> for all of us, probably not. Not you though, probably. Oh, yeah. I think we all enjoy 1975. Now. Oh yeah, they're pretty That's, cool. So it's uh, to make it easy, it's Blink, 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 and Deftones. Yeah. And the last one was the weirdest thing you ever done as a kid. Ooh. There's it was pretty weird when I was not playing video games. So whenever there was a day that I was not playing video games, that was really awkward. And for you, what was really strange is my brother. It was really strange when you were hanging out with people. That was really strange. Yeah, that was that was weird. For me, hanging out, going out with friends, that's like very weird. So yeah. probably your question really means um, some things that were weird generally so so for him would we definitely <laughs> just like not hanging out with anyone and uh just being home yeah and with me it would be probably i don't know you tell them i think we all enjoyed breaking stuff with wooden Sticks and metal. Oh, that's like true. Old TVs yeah. and, and printers and yeah. stuff we found next to like trash cans. Yeah, something. that's right. That's right. We got. Yeah. We would get together and just break shit with bats. Throw it. Throw it off a bridge or something. Just watch how it like. 
Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, and and then we would obviously just you know pack shit and just like clean clean the place. Yeah. Of course. Because yeah, we we were not like eleven by that time. No. Or something. No. All right. Well, uh, that's about all we wanted to answer. No, seriously. Thank you, and thanks for the messages we've been getting from people uh, about how we're doing. And also, thank you so much for all the support because this has been extremely difficult, but not only for us, for everybody. So we're with you, you're with us. Please feel absolutely free to get in touch at any point uh, on Instagram uh, at Skywalker Band. Um, and um, yeah, just, 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 just be there um, and we'll be there for you. And we hope to see you guys, you know, in person, live very soon. We Stay strong, soon. wash your hands please do and you'll be fine stay home for now peace